Hey, good morning everybody. This is uh, Thursday morning's devotion. I hope you had a good night, good night's sleep. Just a quick shout out to my friends, the Perrys in uh, Houston. We're all Baylor people, or they're all Baylor people. I just kind of go with the flow wherever I am. If you want me to wear your t-shirt, just send me one, I'll do that. But today's Baylor day, and I uh, just uh, appreciate the amazing people that we know across the world people who are partnering with us and the stuff that we do here. Just a huge shout out to all of you for your kindness and your participation and your love for us here in Africa. It's kind of like sets the scene for what I want to say today. You know, there is always somebody living in a darker place than you. We've been talking about darkness, have we not? We've been talking about finding ourselves in a cave and darkness can sometimes bring to certain people a, a sense of, of of comfort, a sense of nobody can see me, I can hide in this place. Well, it's fine for a little while. We said so far, when you run into your cave and you find that consoling darkness and you find the comfort that can sometimes confine you because it becomes too comfortable, you got to understand that uh, when we find that good that is in there, God wants you to share that with somebody else who may find themselves in a darker place than you are. The Hardy Dogs are contesting again. They just seem to find me every time. Anyway, you know, we, we look into the darkness of the world around us and uh, we find that that is actually the truth, that you may think you're in darkness, but the greatest thing that you can do is to share a little bit of light that you have with somebody else who has a greater darkness than you. And so I am so grateful to our friends and partners around the world who help us to do just that. But it's good for you to do that. Now in the continuing story of David, David found comfort in the cave. He found purpose in the cave. He had Gad come along and tell him, now your time is up. You now need to get out of the cave. But in chapter 22, we see how a guy by the name of Abiathar found David. And he said, David, I have a story to tell you. And his story was a very painful story about how Saul had killed his relatives and the priests and and he was in a dark, dark place. And David did what I think we should do, no matter how dark we feel we are living. He said to this man, come and live with me. I will look after you and you'll be safe with me. What a beautiful thought. David had come out of his cave now. He'd found comfort, he'd found purpose. And now he knew that his job was to shine a little bit of his light into somebody else's darkness. That's probably for many people the purpose of the cave. And I'm so glad for the gads of this world who come along and say, get out of here, go and shine your light into somebody else's darkness, because that's great healing for you and great benefit to the people around you. We live in a place that is really dark. And uh, in comparison, it's probably a little darker than where many other places are in the world. But we're so grateful for the people who shine their light into our darkness at this particular time. It's good for them. And I've got to tell you, people, it's a huge blessing to us. Keep doing it. Keep being it. Be the light in somebody else's dark world and see what it does for your own soul and see how God is able to use that for his purpose, for his kingdom, and to establish a greater sense of his purpose and his presence here on earth. Thank you. Have a fantastic day, you people. We love you lots, man. And we'll see you soon. See you tomorrow. Bye.